Hello, my name is Roger Thomas, and I've been known for most of my career as the Director of Design for Wynn Resorts and have created large hotel resort casinos in Las Vegas and China, and most recently in Boston. I am also the founder and principal of the Roger Thomas Collection. I found that in creating these resorts and wanting as many things in the resorts to be unique as I possibly could, that I learned how to make almost everything that went into an interior, and I have designed those things, soft things from fabric to floor covering to hard things from plumbing fittings to precious jewels. And you can see all of those on the RogerThomasCollection.com. This recent part of our strange and some would say restful history found my husband Arthur and I in Venice. We had just been to the Maastricht Fine Arts Fair and flew to Venice to oversee the redecoration, the renovation of a story department on the Grand Canal. While we were here, the COVID virus invaded the world, and on March 8th, here in Italy, we went on lockdown. During the lockdown, uh, it found me going into retirement. I had retired from my position at Wynn Resorts in order to concentrate on designs for the Roger Thomas collection and to take it easy and to enjoy living in Venice. Uh, I retired on January the 1st. And so when we arrived here, uh, I was just two months into my retirement when I found that I was not only retired, but also isolated. So I took advantage of that. All of my career, I have traveled with a sketchbook and every idea I've ever had is the result of a museum visit or perhaps a tour of a stately home or a castle or a palace or a chateau. Whenever I have an idea, whatever that idea is, I draw that idea. Uh, I don't use that particularly at the moment, but I might need it in future and have many of these sketchbooks to refer to whenever I need one of those creative solutions. During the lockdown, because I was not able to go see, uh, I would walk through Venice on every other day or every third day to make necessary tours to a bakery or to a butcher or to a grocery store. And I tried to take different travel routes along the way and would see beautiful objects that I could be inspired by, a door handle, uh, the detailed carving on a door frame, uh, a bell tower, uh, any of those things. And so I began doing something that I have also done during my travels, but on a daily basis almost, of drawing capriccios. These are organized randomly according to what I want to include on the page. They are improvised in the moment. I usually start knowing one thing I want to put into the drawing, and then I begin to improvise. This is that sketchbook. It's filled with these pages, uh, and it might, it might be that one of the improvisations uh, creates a vase or something else, but almost every day I drew one of these groups of images inspired by the day's walks or the day's thoughts. It might turn into a piece of furniture or it might be a door handle, but these capriccios kept me thinking and active the entire time that we were locked down. So I have nearly 60 of them now because of the uh, length of time that we've been here. Uh, and other days I would draw other ideas. So they've been a real source of contemplation and meditation. Finally, this is while waiting for Arthur uh, getting vegetables at the Barca, I drew this bell tower as seen from Campo San Barnaba. And the bracket is at the top of a door that I saw on the way to our barber. The ribbon 
motif at the bottom appears on the grand canal side of the palazzo caldelduca, which is our new apartment.